Hey guys, what's going on? This is Karen Katengi from successwithfmmoms.com and in this video, I just wanted to share with you how I'm doing my capture pages. Okay, so um, what I use to do that is a um, capture page system called Viral Success Network or VSN and, and I'm going to go through that right now. Okay, so this is my back office. Let me just log in. And let me just pause this video. You want to go to Marketing Tools, Capture Pages. And then um, click that button there. And then you just have to scroll down and you will see a lot of templates here. You know, these are um, these are here. These are the chosen templates for uh, for VSN because these have been proven to work. You know, based on the tests that uh, VSN has been doing. Okay, so that's the reason why they've been here. You will see a lot of these yellow, um, you know, plain looking ones um, because these are the one of the best converting capture pages. But let me uh, choose something else. Okay. Okay, so I want to use this one. If you click that one to open tab, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so let us edit that. So just have to click edit page. And um, before you start, you got to make sure that you already have your um, the list name in your Aweber or get response that you want to use for this. And at the same time, the sales video or the sales page where you want your visitors to be redirected, okay? So once you click the edit button, this is what you're going to see. So um, as you see, these are customizable pages. This is an image that you can delete and uh, replace with something else. Or you can just simply type in your headline uh, for you to edit the headline part. Okay, so um, I want to keep it that way. If you want to um, to edit the uh, list name, you got to click settings, advanced settings button there. And then... Um, uh, this is where you're going to update your Aweber or your autoresponder list. Okay, so let me do that right now. Click that, and then you will be asked to select from the three autoresponder tools here. Let me choose Aweber, and this is the list name that I want to use. Okay, so just hit save. Okay, after that, click save again just to make sure. Okay, and then after that, let us go back again to settings, advanced settings, and here you would want to fill up um, the redirect URL field, which is supposed to be your sales video or your sales page. So this is the page that they're going to see once they opt in, once they enter their information. This is the page that you want them to see, okay? So I've already gotten that a while ago, so let me just paste that in here. Okay, and... That's it. Save the changes and you have a capture page already. So what you want to do is click this, the view page, so you want to see the final page. And then the next step is for you to test it to make sure that it's working well. Okay, so let me do that now. There you go. Okay, so now you learn how to create your own capture page in a few clicks in a very short period of time. All right, so, so there you go. It's just going to play there. So I hope you were able to pick something out of this. And you, if you want to get access to um, the tool that I'm using right now to help me create capture pages in seconds, um, then click the link below this video and I'm going to see you on the other side.